Hey YouTube. So I took this radiator out of the um, Suburban and it doesn't have any leaks anywhere. What I do is I close up the holes that are on there and I have a gauge that I put air into that radiator and it's not leaking anywhere. The only thing I could think of is that if it gets hot maybe something expands but uh, with just air pressure it's not leaking and, <coughs> and I would think that with enough air pressure in there it would make anything expand that uh, would need to to leak. So I'm going to be putting this radiator back in here. Um, a couple of things on here that are not what us older guys are used to is that there's um, these pipes from the transmission. We've had this on our older cars as well, but the way they hook in there, instead of taking the fitting off, which would be this fitting right here, screwing it out, there's actually a C-clamp that goes around this. So you take the C-clamp out and then you can pull the tubes out of there. The rest of them are just either clamped on or uh, have some kind of a spring around them to hold them on. So that's not too hard to figure out. So took it apart and it's not the radiator. And actually the rest of the truck in here is dry. So I don't really see where there could be an issue unless it's a head gasket. But we're not having any real problems here. This, the, the truck runs very good. It's not like it's missing or anything. I don't see any vapor coming out the exhaust. So I'm just putting this back together and let the customer ride it or drive it and uh, see how he does with it. So that's it YouTube. Have a good one. Bye.